has to do apparently with a, a car accident involving the totaling of a motorcycle by a Portland police officer. Uh, and it's a settlement of or settlement that is being discussed of some ten thousand dollars. And uh, it's it come to our attention at Cop Wise that since the James Chassis settlement in 2010, very few, if any, uh, out of court settlements have been coming to city council anymore, even though anything above five thousand dollars has been regularly coming to council in the years prior to that. Uh, we're not sure if there's a new policy that the city is now trying to take everything to trial. There seems to be a lot more uh, jury findings against the city where the a large amounts of money are being paid out to the uh, people who are alleged police misconduct. Uh, we read about the newspaper, but we don't hear about it at the city council anymore. So we're not sure if that's a, a new policy. Uh, we're not sure if there, uh, certainly there have probably been more settlements worth more than $5,000 than what has come before council, and we're wondering if they're getting entered into the court as judgments, which then means that there's no decision to be made and the council doesn't have to consider them. And if that's a decision that got made, that there can be some open discussion of that strategy. It also is listed in the public involvement section on this agenda item that risk management has concluded it's not appropriate to have public involvement in settlement negotiations regarding court claims or lawsuits against the city. Now that may be something that risk management says, but the people of Portland are who you're representing. So I think it is always appropriate to have public involvement in discussions throughout these things uh, for you to get a gauge from the community what we think about them. And with this particular case, we don't know what the name of the officer because of the way the council agenda item is written. We don't know what happens to the person who's on the motorcycle that got totaled. It doesn't mention any injury. Um, and it doesn't mention if the Independent Police Review Division is looking into this as possible misconduct. It does say the officer is driving in the wrong lane against the red light when he totaled the motorcycle. Uh, often, accidents with police officers are treated differently from misconduct cases. But I also know that IPR opens up investigation sometimes when there's a court claim. So these are the kinds of things that would be helpful to have public discussion about. Uh, most of the settlements about police issues have been on the regular agenda, not the consent agenda, which is why we pulled it. Um, I think you know uh, Fort and Cop Watch believes in police accountability. Uh, we're uh, not anti-police, we're for the police being accountable and for public discussions like this to occur. Uh, so I do hope that uh, you will consider having items like this on the future and maybe discussing these issues I brought up today. Uh, and I appreciate you hearing the consent agenda item first. It was Mayor Adams' policy to hear them at the end of everything else, but uh, it was the policy previously to hear them right at the end of the consent agenda. Thank you. Thanks for calling this to our attention. I do add it to my to-do list of items to review with both the city attorney uh, and with the police bureau how we handle these procedures. So thank you, Dan. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. Any further council discussion before we take action on this item? 